And finally, for today's program, let's turn to David Trim for a look at Adventist history. This week, learn about the formation of the first Seventh-day Adventist church in the South American nation of Brazil. During this week in Adventist history 153 years ago, Seventh-day Sabbath-keeping former Millerites from the U.S. states of New York and Pennsylvania met for several days. They formed the New York Conference of Seventh-day Adventists, which soon after became the New York and Pennsylvania Conference. Consisting of around 20 local churches and 400 believers, this was just the sixth conference organized by Seventh-day Adventists. Today, five conferences cover the territory of New York State and Pennsylvania, and they total some 60,000 church members. And also during this week, but 25 years later, October 25 through 29 in 1877, five churches and six companies in what was then the Oregon and Washington Territory of the United States were organized into the North Pacific Conference in a meeting at Walla Walla. Isaac Van Horn was the first president, his wife Adelia, the conference secretary, and Alonzo T. Jones, the treasurer. Today, three conferences cover Oregon and Washington. The 11 congregations have grown to 328, while the membership has grown from around 200 to over 85,000. And on October 27, in 1895, the first Seventh-day Adventist church in Brazil was organized by German-American missionary Huldrych F. von Graff in the city of Rio de Janeiro. That original church consisted entirely of expatriate workers from the United States, but it was the springboard for the extraordinary efflorescence of the Seventh-day Adventist church in Brazil, where today there are 1.5 million Seventh-day Adventists. That was this week in Adventist history. <laughs> 